man, cutting down all these trees is going to take ages. I really wish there was a quicker way of doing this. I wonder what 16-bit's doing. Oh, well, that was pretty easy. Released in 2015, it's Farming Simulator 15, developed by Giant Software and published by Focus Home Interactive. What you're seeing currently is the PlayStation 4 version of the game, also available on PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC for Windows and Mac OS X. In Farming Simulator 15, if you couldn't already guess, you farm. There's really no main story or objective outside of making money, you simply farm. And believe it or not, that's a lot more complicated than it seems. You've got two main maps to choose from, Bajornholm, or however that's pronounced, and the good old USA. Each map is filled with tons of fields to harvest, however I decided to try out the Bajornholm map simply because it offered more trees to cut for one of the new features the game offers, forestry, which allows you to cut trees into logs with plenty of different tools and sell them for a good amount of money. As for the farming aspect, you've got plenty of different crops to grow and choose from, from wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, and sugar beets. The grains more or less are the same when it comes to harvesting, but potatoes, beets, and corn all require a different type of vehicle or header. You can also raise different livestock like chickens, sheep, and even cows. The game also includes some missions, or jobs around the world if you will, that range from delivering things to mowing lawns, all of which requires the proper vehicles or attachments. And there's probably loads more that are missing that I've yet to try or do or found out about. But is all of this any good? Easily the greatest thing about Farming Simulator 15 is the amount of things you can actually do in this game. As I've mentioned before, you've got a number of different types of crops and fields to grow, forestry stuff like cutting down trees, delivering logs, as well as the board missions around the environments, raising livestock. This game just has tons of things to do at any given moment. But not only that, you can balance it all at the same time by letting the AI take control of your actual farming equipment and switch to another vehicle to begin work on another task. So you'd be harvesting one moment, then begin plowing a field, then start cutting down more trees all at the same time thanks to the AI control and being able to hire workers. It works extremely well and makes the multitasking a breeze, and for the most part, the AI is really smart and can work on its own without much issue. The game also has a pretty good learning curve to it as well as you begin to experiment with each new type of vehicle and farming techniques, and thankfully also features a very deep and in-depth tutorial explaining most of the mechanics of the game and how each type of vehicle works and functions. And for someone like me who is new to the franchise, this was a big plus. You've also got a fairly big map to do all of this on, and the number of fields you can purchase is immense, especially if you plan on playing multiplayer. But sadly, as of this recording, I couldn't find anyone who actually wanted to delve into farming with me, so I primarily stuck to single player. You can also find collectibles in the form of gold coins around the environment that upon collecting them all and delivering them to a certain well on the map will reward you with a nice amount of resources that you can then sell for some easy money. But probably one thing that caught me by surprise was how well this game worked with a controller. I figured this being a port from a more PC-focused franchise would lead to some control issues. But thankfully, for the most part, this game worked fine using the DualShock 4 controller. But speaking of things that aren't fine, now let's discuss... the bad. Now I said the AI works most of the time. Other times, not so much. They tend to get stuck on trees and objects around the environment if you aren't paying attention pretty often. But thankfully, you can just cut down any trees that may get in the way. The controls are also a tad bit on the clunky side with some of the forestry vehicles. I personally spent nearly an hour trying to figure out how this claw works in the tutorial. But probably my next issue, the missions if you will, or jobs or whatever you want to call them, aren't exactly varied. Out of the ten or so I played, all of them were delivering something from point A to point B, or mowing someone's lawn, and eventually I just stopped playing them altogether. But now let's discuss... The Ugly where we discuss the graphics, technical aspects, and general presentation of the game. Graphically, Farming Simulator 15 is pretty decent for a game bearing the simulator name. The environments are somewhat bland, but the vehicles themselves are very detailed. 
seeing all the little bits and pieces of them work while in operation is pretty interesting, and they even get covered in dirt or mud after extended periods of use. The game also runs in 1080 with a solid frame rate, but honestly, if this couldn't manage that on current gen consoles, I'd be a bit concerned. But all in all, they look great. As for the soundtrack side of things, it's... Yeah, it doesn't really exist outside the main menu, so not much to say on that. But what I do want to talk about is the game's magical, magical physics. Truly. You'll have a number of moments where the game's physics just decide to go and do their own thing for no reason. And overall, it's very wonky from sliding all over the places you drive sometimes, to just plain craziness. During my 40 to 50 hours with Farming Simulator 15, I also ran into the odd game crash, and some minor clipping issues and pop-in around the environment. But other than that, it's nothing truly game-breaking. Farming Simulator 15 isn't obviously for everyone. Going into it, I didn't think I'd clock in the amount of hours that I did, and honestly, I found it strangely enjoying and addictive. It also genuinely taught me a number of things about farming itself, and overall was a pretty solid experience, aside from some minor control issues and the odd bug or physics issue. But as I said, it's obviously not for everyone, and takes a lot of patience. But now, it's time for my rating. I give Farming Simulator 15 a Lamborghini tractor out of 10. Do you think farmers just daydream about that? Like, normal people daydream about having a Lamborghini, but do you think someone out there, like some actual farmer out there, daydreams about having a Lamborghini tractor? Well, dream no more, because now you can play this. It's pretty good.